Microsoft have released a new feature for Outlook called Newsletters. It's only available for new Outlook and Outlook on the web. It allows you to create, distribute and track internal email newsletters. This is great for regular company communications, so let's take a look. You can access newsletters on the left toolbar under this icon. Immediately you can see it's very different to just writing an email. You can see some of the benefits here, such as storing copies of newsletters rather than having them lost in inboxes, the ability to collaborate on newsletters and the ability to track engagement. At the top we have two options. Create a newsletter is creating the main topic of the emails. So for example, I'm going to create a newsletter about company events. You can add a logo and a cover image and stock images are also provided. Give your newsletter a name, a description, add owners of the newsletter and set access requirements. Once you're happy with that, you can start creating additions. Additions sit within your newsletter, so you can create multiple additions which are then stored under one newsletter. For example, my newsletter is about company events, so I might make an October events one, a November events one and so on. Under one newsletter, you'll see all the additions as well as analytics, deleted additions and information about the newsletter. You can also delete it, export data about the newsletter, get a share link and edit it. So now we've created our newsletter, we can create an addition. You can choose a blank newsletter or select a template. For this, we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to give this a name but then it asks whether I want to make an addition or a template. An addition is if you want to create completely from scratch and template lets you make your own template. So if you want your additions to all look the same, you can create your own template here and then the next time you create one, you can just select it on the template options like this. If you have multiple newsletters, you can also select which one it belongs to here. So this is what a blank newsletter looks like. So let's start from the top down. Up here you can see my face, so next to it you can add other contributors or authors. This is my edition title, but you can change this. And you can change or delete this cover image. And then you can add your content. Content is divided into sections, so this is one section which you can add contributors to. And then you can add another section below and add different contributors. It's a great way to easily divide and collaborate on different information. Per section you can add text and then edit in the usual way with the top ribbon. You'll notice when you add a new section you have the option to add components. This is also in the top ribbon along with the option to add pictures. These are the different types of components you can add. Text and image displays, multiple images, quotes and people. If I add a text and image display, you can hover over the empty image box to change the size of it. You can then add your text and change the styles however you wish. It's a similar editing experience with images and quotes, and people let you tag other people in your organisation in a nice display. So here you can now see my profile picture, name and job title. In each section you then have these options. Link section lets you add a list of contents for this newsletter which can then be skipped to. So per section I will add a link and at the top of my newsletter it adds the contents and you can click to jump to that section. These arrows let you move sections around easily so I could swap these two. And then delete lets you delete an entire section. As you work on your newsletter you can preview it at any time. It gives you the option to view it in light mode and dark mode and you can send yourself a copy of the email to see what it will look like in your Outlook, including the delivery notification. Once you're happy with it, you can click next and edit the send options. You can add another author and recipient. You can also edit how it will look on the newsletters explore page once it has been published. And lastly, you can choose whether to add newsletters to the bottom of the footer and to allow comments and reactions to the newsletter. And when you're happy, you can press send. And here is my sent newsletter. So once it's sent, it will appear as an addition under your chosen newsletter. You can easily see how many views, comments and reactions it had. 
or take a closer look in the analytics section. You can also get a share link, duplicate the edition or edit or delete it. The last thing to show you is this section here, which is a homepage for newsletters. Explore lets you see all the newsletters and editions created and you can subscribe to new ones. Drafts will show you any draft editions you have worked on but not sent or published. Published will show you those you have published as well as your newsletter subscriptions. The newsletters drop down is how you access existing newsletters. And the subscription drop down lets you find newsletters to subscribe to as well as those you're already subscribed to. And that is newsletters in New Outlook.